Nine. One of the few dark and mysterious animated films that actually gained a huge following. So big that people to this day are still hoping and posting that a sequel will come out. It's been 11 years since this movie debuted in theaters, and as big as it's gotten, it's seemingly faded out of existence. That is, until now. Today, we will find out what exactly happened to Nine. When Nine was released on September 9th of 2009, it was so much different than every other animated movie out there. It was dark, it had lore, story, build up, it had everything going for it. it. Even had its own website at some point and it actually delved deep into the story of the movie Nine. The amount of thought and world building that went into this movie will not go unnoticed. But that's for another video. This video is meant to find out exactly what happened to this franchise. So many fans thought that this movie deserved a sequel but Alas, it's been 11 years since the initial release and nothing's ever come to light regarding the possibility of a sequel. That is, until you look at the Facebook that was created for the movie. If you hop on Facebook right now, if you look up 9 Scientists, this page comes up. Now for those out of the loop on this, this page is created back on April 8th of 2009. The page is created as an advertising campaign for the movie in an effort to get people hyped to watch it in theaters. Now at the time, the last post to be made on this page for a long while would be on September 8th of 2009, just one day before the movie hit theaters. Now after said release, nothing was ever shown on this page again. That is until July 20th of 2016. The 9 scientists updates their profile picture. Now many fans took this as a way of teasing that something was in the works. Was there a possibility of a 9 sequel? Were the fans finally going to get what they wanted? Were they going to expand the world of 9 into something new? Maybe it would be a Netflix show or an online show. These are all thoughts that everybody had at the time and everybody was going crazy in the comments trying to figure out why now of all times they would go and update something so meaningless. I mean honestly, like why go through the trouble of re-uploading the same photo? Now at first many people thought that this was just a Facebook bug. And that might have been true, but if you actually look at the pictures themselves, one of these pictures is slightly better quality than the other one. And this means that somebody had to have taken a better quality photo and actually uploaded it themselves. Someone logged into this Facebook account and had to update this profile picture manually. Fans of the franchise would be going crazy for a long time wondering what the hell this meant as nothing would be heard again for another year. January 20th, 2017. The nine scientists post again, saying the following. The light has faintly flickered on again beneath the ashes and I have begun the long-awaited search for hope. I must find nine. This post completely blew up, getting a thousand comments, but even so, this would actually be the last we ever heard about this movie. Since 2017, the nine scientists page has been silent and nothing's been heard from the writer or director ever since. And it sucks. It really sucks because there are still people to this day like me that have wondered the same thing that you're wondering. Why haven't we gotten a sequel to this great movie? Clearly, something has to be being at least talked about behind closed doors if someone's going through the effort of posting to this old page. But what exactly happened to this movie? Many have speculated that it's actually the curse of having Shane Acker is the director. For those who don't know, Shane Acker had another movie in the making called Deep. This movie was set to take place in a post-apocalyptic world much like Nine and well that's pretty much all that's known about this movie actually. If you go onto any wiki forum or anything that's basically the synopsis of the movie. It seemed to have not gotten far in production and no updates regarding the film have ever been publicized besides being mentioned by the, the director himself a few times in some interviews. People never got an answer as to why and there's speculation that Shane Acker himself just lost funding or even motivation to create the film. Deep hasn't been so much as mentioned by anyone involved in its production and no updates have ever been given. Sound familiar? Many compare what happened to the Deep franchise and compare it to Nine and say that it's Shane Acker's fault for not pushing the movie through to get it finished. However. No definitive answer has ever been put forth by the makers of Nine, and unless someone can get a hold of Shane Acker, we may never know what exactly happened to Nine's sequel. Now aside from Shane Acker, 
People have also speculated that it could be in part due to the death of Martin Lando, the voice of two in the movie. But I don't buy this one because if you guys have actually seen the movie, you would know that his character basically dies and leaves at the end of the movie. Now, unless the sequel has the character in the movie for some reason, it just doesn't seem like a probable explanation as to why the sequel has never come out. I mean, why leave the ending so ambiguous and open for a sequel if you weren't going to make one? And it was at this point that I realized maybe there was never supposed to be a sequel. All this talk of a sequel could just be speculation because it's not like anyone ever promised any of us a sequel to this movie. Fans from all around just love the movie and the ending left it open for a sequel and with the constant teasing from the 9 Scientists page, it just seemed like the door was always open for a sequel. Were we wrong to think that there would be a sequel in the first place? My answer to that is no. We weren't wrong to think that. Now upon further research, there was one piece of information I found, and that piece of information can be found on the movie's DVD features. Yes, on the DVD itself. We're kind of getting old school here, but stay with me. A feature on the DVD was found to contain commentary from Shane Acker himself. Now in this commentary, he actually teases at a sequel for the movie, explaining how they left the ending ambiguous on purpose and with enough effort from his own team, they could find some sort of story to put the characters through in a sequel. He ended his statement saying that he may want to pursue this because the genre of dark animated films is so low and he really wanted to give people something that's different. Now I was super tempted to go buy the DVD to see exactly what he said and I actually did do this and it's going to come in a few weeks but I wanted to get this video out now. I will probably make an update video in the future explaining what exactly I found but this is basically where the video stands right now guys. You the viewer now know as much as I do. I really don't have an answer as to what happened in the 9 sequel yet. It could have been Shane Acker's fault. It could have been the death of one of the voice actors. It, it's, it could have been a number of things. Cut funding. There's so many reasons why this movie could not have come out. And I was just not satisfied with that. And you guys probably aren't satisfied watching this right now. So I've taken it upon myself to do a little bit more research because I want to go that extra mile and really find out what happened to this franchise. So I took to IMDb. And I chose the people that I thought would have some sort of answer as to what happened to this movie franchise. Those people being as Shane Acker, who's the writer and director himself, Pamela Petler, who wrote the screenplay, Benjamin Gluck, head of story, Ryan O'Laughlin, also head of story, Kevin Chen, concept artist for the movie, and lastly, Adam Iskov, who was actually the assistant for Mr. Acker. As of right now, I've tried to get in contact with three of these people. It's really hard for me to get in contact with them with not being famous or out there myself. So as of right now, I still have not heard anything back. I'm going to keep trying, guys. But if you guys want to have at it somehow, tweet at these people, find their Twitter handles, find phone numbers, just bug the hell out of them and try and get an answer out of these guys. Because honestly, it, it's too hard for a one-man show to do this. But that was the video, guys. Following this video in the coming weeks, I do want to put out an update video showing what exactly I found on the DVD and what I've heard from any of the creators, if they are to respond to me. As of right now though, I will leave any contact information I have found for them in the description and I'll let you guys handle it. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like below, comment why you love the 9 franchise as much as I do, and be sure to subscribe for more content in the future. And with that said, I will see you guys in the next video.